Welcome to a preview video where we'll be explaining how I built this pedestrian walking AI inside of Unity. Before we get started, first let's check out what the AI can do. Okay, so if we take a close look, some of the AI is going in the opposite direction than some of the other AI. The next thing we can notice is that some of the AI walks slower than some other AI. And obviously we can't run them over. Okay, the first thing that we're going to check out is the array of the linked lists. So this is the linked list that we generate every time we build the script. So the script has a pedestrian that we can use multiple pedestrians. This will generate random pedestrians and spawn them inside this uh, loop. And then each of these positions has this node, or as we call it, it's a waypoint. So the waypoint has a previous waypoint and a next waypoint. And then we have obviously the width of the sidewalk. If we go into the scene view, this is what we can see. We can see all these nodes connecting each other and then forming a loop, a loop that pedestrian can walk. And if we can understand these nodes, or these linked lists, shall we call them, that's basically all there is to the AI. So it uses a waypoint system to walk from point to point and checking if it has reached that waypoint. So if it has reached that waypoint, it proceeds to the next one. The simple AI that checks if the distance has been reached is this one. So this one takes a transform position from where the actual AI is and then it compares it to the destination. Then in here we ask if the destination is bigger than or equal to the stop distance. So this is basically the offset that we want to check if it has reached the waypoint. And if it does, it simply flags the destination. And if the destination gets flagged, we move the current pointer to the next pointer. Now this is a simple if statement to check if the heading is going towards a certain waypoint and if it's not it goes the reverse of a certain waypoint. So that's basically how simple it is. So in the next episode that is coming soon I'm going to show you how you can actually write this code and then make this AI actually walk inside a sidewalk. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.